Hey, Greg Frost here, and I'd like to congratulate you on having found your way to this exclusive page. If you're here, then it means you're probably one of our valued friends because this video is not available to the general public. You're in for a treat because I'm about to share with you a secret that not a lot of people are going to get access to. Don't worry, there's nothing for you to buy at the end of this video. This is my sincere gift to you. The sharing of knowledge that, when applied to your life, will hopefully benefit you even in the smallest of ways. Today I'm going to share with you the secrets to the one absolute law that will dramatically enhance the quality of your life. This law is the Law of Attraction. Maybe you've heard of the Law of Attraction, and maybe you think you know what it is. Maybe you've also heard how people have tried to make it work but couldn't, and maybe you think it's all just hogwash. I'm here to set the record straight. The Law of Attraction isn't a theory, it's a science. Like any scientific endeavor, there are steps and processes that you'll need to get right in order to make the law work in your favor. Those who have tried and failed with the Law of Attraction have been doing it wrong. And I apologize if I seem a little harsh here, but you're probably among the few who have been getting it wrong all this while. As I've said, I'm here to set the record straight. I'm here to show you exactly how you can prime your mind to make this one absolute law work for you. But first, let's start with a question. Have you ever noticed how some people seem to be able to attract the right kind of attention to themselves and able to make friends or acquaintances without any real effort? These people have no problem gaining admiration from everyone around them, seemingly possessing an irresistible charm that no one can turn away from. Yet there are those who seem destined to be alone, unable to make friends no matter how hard they try. Why is that? Let's review the facts. When we meet charismatic people, we are initially impressed by their personality. American psychologist William James defines personality as a set of individually evolved characteristic patterns of behavior. These patterns determine how we function on both conscious and unconscious levels. It's why we get sucked into being in awe of such charismatic people. The way they present themselves, the charisma they exude makes us feel at ease around them. We become a conduit for the confidence they project, which in turn makes us feel confident in them. It's why we choose such people to be our leaders, our mentors. They're easily able to attract the attention of their superiors, their colleagues, and practically anyone they come into contact with. They have no problems influencing others to their favor. These are the people who climb up the ladder of success with seemingly no effort at all. These are the people who have mastered the law of attraction. There are those who would argue that the law of attraction is mere hogwash, that there is no real possible way that you can attract success effortlessly, as if by magic. But these people don't realize that a big part of the law of attraction comes from personality. It is through a highly developed personality that a person is able to attract success into their lives. Psychologists believe that personality represents the balance between one's inner traits and a combination of conscious and external controls. William James, in particular, mentions that personality is the sum total of your traits. We are born with traits such as our physical appearance, intelligence, and natural talents. While we can't usually make drastic changes to such traits, we do, however, have the capacity to make the most of them. Traits like patience, kindness, generosity, humility, and sincerity can be used as the framework for our desired personality. We can develop such traits to mold our personality into one that others will admire. It is through this development of the personality that we can master the law of attraction. So how do you develop the ideal personality? Here's a quick exercise on how you can identify your strongest traits to help in the development of your ideal personality. First, find a quiet place in which you can think. Sit down and reflect on everything you've engaged in at any point in your life. This can be activities, behaviors, or even ideas. Think about how you've interacted with people in the course of your life. Think about how you may have helped or hindered them. Be honest and hold nothing back. List down everything you've thought of on a piece of paper. Analyze your interactions, your behaviors, every activity that you've listed out. Identify the traits in whatever you've listed out. Segregate them into positive and negative traits. For example, 
You may have tried to cause problems for someone who's in line for a promotion at work, but after hearing about their unfortunate circumstances, you decided to back down from your resentment. On another piece of paper, create two columns labeled strong and weak. List down all your positive traits under the strong column and do the same for your negative traits under the weak column. Once you're done, review your list of strong traits and reflect on other incidents when these traits were prevalent. Circle the traits that come to mind most often. Now get your family and friends to create the same list, but in their perspective. Get them to list down the strong and weak traits that they think you have. They may be reluctant to be completely honest about any negative traits you may have, so do encourage them to be completely honest. Help them understand that their honesty is essential in identifying your strong traits. When they're done, compare their list with yours and look at the most commonly recurring traits. It doesn't matter if the most recurring traits are strong or weak. Write them down. Now that you've identified your strongest and weakest traits, you can begin strengthening your strong traits while downplaying the weak ones. This exercise is best done when you're doubting yourself or when you're concerned about how you're coming across to people. It helps you take stock of your strong traits and reaffirm them, while at the same time granting you awareness of your weak traits so you'll know to avoid them when you're tempted to display them. Now, quite frankly, developing the ideal personality isn't necessarily an easy endeavor. You need to be committed. You need to have a strong desire to develop your inner traits before you can hope to grow into the kind of successful person that you've always wanted to be. You also have to realize that not everyone is created equal. Sure, you may have equal rights and opportunities in this day and age, but the reality of it is that not everyone has equal traits, such as intelligence, physical strength, or even motivation. Whatever your circumstance, whatever traits you have, it is entirely possible for you to develop the kind of personality that will attract success into your life. People thirsty for knowledge and the ambitions to excel will find their journey towards success a little easier because they're motivated to do what it takes to get to where they want. If you drag your feet and resent all the things you'll have to do to get to where you want in life, then you have very little hope of achieving the kind of success you desire. You can have all the natural-born gifts in the world, but if you don't put them to work, then nothing will come of it. Unfortunately, there are those who do try to put these gifts to work, but they still lack the success they crave. Why? Because they lack a good appearance. Let's be honest. Would you be willing to do any kind of business with a man who looked like he was living on the streets? Chances are, you wouldn't, because appearances are everything. You judge others by how they look, just as others judge you by how you look. We judge people by their appearance. First impressions are often made by how people appear to us. You don't have to be born with a handsome face or impressive physique to project the kind of appearance that would appeal to others. But have you ever noticed how the rich and powerful movers and shakers of the world often present themselves? Donald Trump, Richard Branson, Barack Obama. Even at their most casual, you would know that they are men of great influence just from their appearance alone. The late founder of Apple, Steve Jobs, might not have made many public appearances in a suit, but even with a scraggly beard, he maintained a respectable appearance in his signature black turtleneck and denim jeans. If you want others to give you the chance to shine, then you must first dress the part to be noticed in the right light. Dress for success, be well-groomed, put on your best clothes, wear a smile on your face instead of a frown, and you'll start off on the right foot. People often emulate those they admire by wearing the same type of clothes, copying hairstyles, and even mannerisms. They hope that by doing so, they're able to emulate the success of the people they admire. You can in fact do the very same thing with other innate qualities as well. Right now I'd like for you to take a minute to think of the person who you admire the most. Think about their appearance, their personality, their successes. Concentrate on their traits that you want to develop for yourself. Visualize yourself being the very person that you want to be. You don't have to limit yourself to the people that you know personally. The person you want to emulate could be someone from the past. A historical figure, perhaps, one that you've read about and admire for their courage, determination, whatever it is that made them a success. If it helps, write down the traits of the person you wish to emulate. Look for the positive traits, 
Traits that help you acquire the power to put others at ease around you, to make them happy and feel good about themselves. Become someone who brightens up the room with your joyous disposition, and you'll find yourself attracting all manner of people who want to be in your presence. Another great way you can use the law of attraction in your favor is to develop for yourself a gracious personality, because it in itself is a force to be reckoned with. It's hard for anyone to ignore or resist the charm of someone who possesses a gracious personality. Again, think about the people in your life who may have a very pleasant, gracious, magnetic personality. I'm sure you've had experiences with people who you haven't the heart to turn away. What compels you to give them the time of day, despite how busy you may be? What attracts you to them? There are certain kinds of people who are just naturally magnetic. They have the innate qualities that we admire and wish we had for ourselves. These are the qualities that attract anyone into their presence, qualities such as magnanimity, helpfulness, optimism, and generosity. All these qualities you can develop and cultivate for yourself. Cultivate positivity and banish negativity from your thoughts, from your life. If you maintain the kind of mental attitude that is bitter and resentful towards others, then you'll attract the same kind of resentful people that won't help you get anywhere in life. The subconscious mind is such a powerful force that it has the ability to manifest what you actively focus on. If you harbor feelings of jealousy and ill will toward those whose successes you wish to be yours, then chances are you won't create a life of success for yourself, but you'll most likely manifest for yourself the life of deprivation you wish upon the person you're envious of. It's understandable how frustrating it can be when you can't seem to achieve success no matter what you do. But the difference between those who succeeded and those who languish in failure is simply a matter of the mind. A majority of people who struggle to find success in life allow themselves to be susceptible to the negative influences in their lives. Chances are, you too inadvertently allow negativity to reign over your life at some point or another. Your conscious and subconscious minds are vulnerable to any influence you subject them to, positive or negative. Instead of focusing on negativity, steer your mind towards the manifestation of the life that you desire. You can do this by cultivating qualities that will grant you unwavering resolve that eliminates the negativity hindering you from achieving success. When you feel as though you can't achieve success for whatever reason, the one important thing you have to remember is that you have the ability to choose how your life turns out to be. You choose whether you're healthy, whether you're successful, whether you have abundance of everything you need in life. Your thoughts determine your reality, and everything you receive in life is the total sum of the choices you make, whether consciously or otherwise. So choose to develop positive qualities instead of focusing on the negative aspects of your personality. Affirmations help instill these positive qualities and maintain a positive outlook toward life. Try these affirmations when trying to reinforce the control you have over your life. I am happy today. I am healthy and full of energy. I am successful. I am at peace with myself and everything around me. Every choice I make is guided by my infinite wisdom, and all will be right. So to wrap up today's lesson, Here's how you can develop those qualities and prime your mind to get the law of attraction working for you. Instill within your subconscious mind the qualities that you admire and respect in others. Develop qualities such as generosity, magnanimity, and cheerfulness, the very same qualities you find yourself attracted to, and you will become attractive to those around you. Use role models to base your personality changes on. Your role models can be anyone, past or present, you admire for their positive qualities. Banish negativity from your thoughts and cultivate a positive attitude toward everything you do. A negative mental attitude full of bitterness and resentment will result in an unhappy and unproductive life, as your mind will lack the ability to attract the positive energy you require to create a fulfilling life of success. Reinforce the control you have over your life by way of affirmations. Remember that your future, your destiny, is in your hands, and you choose how your life turns out to be. Now that you understand the fundamentals necessary to prime your mind for the law of attraction to work for you, stay tuned for my next lesson, where I'll teach you how you can use all that you've learned today to become an influential figure capable of getting others to help you achieve the kind of life you've always dreamed of. Till next time.
This is Greg Frost signing off, and I'll see you on the inside.